Hi, everyone. We're bringing you another story today from our good friend Corduroy. And this story is called Corduroy's Halloween. It's written by Don Freeman, and the pictures are by Lisa McHugh. It's fall. The air is colder, and the trees are turning red and yellow. Corduroy and his friends are having fun raking leaves into big piles. It's time to get ready for one of Corduroy's favorite holidays, Halloween. First, Corduroy visits the pumpkin patch. Picking the right pumpkin is hard work. Should he pick a tall, skinny one or a round, fat one? What do you think? Next, Corduroy goes to the store. He buys black and orange paper, candles for the jack-o'-lantern, paints for the window painting contest, treats for the trick-or-treaters, and everything he needs for his costume. Today is the window painting contest. Everyone looks very hard painting ghosts, monsters, witches, cats, and bats. Corduroy paints a big orange pumpkin. Nice job, Corduroy. Finally, it's Halloween. Corduroy has put up his decorations. He has carved two pumpkins. One is scary and one is silly. Even the treats are ready. Knock, knock. The first trick-or-treaters are here. Trick-or-treat for UNICEF. Now, Corduroy is in his costume and he joins the Halloween parade. Look at the ghosts, monsters, witches, animals, pirates, princesses, and pumpkins. Can you guess which one is Corduroy? It's time for the Halloween party. It is Corduroy's turn to bob for apples. There are donuts and cider for everyone. Happy Halloween! The end, everyone. Thank you so much for reading with me, and I hope we'll get together and read out loud again the next time. Bye-bye for now, and happy Halloween!